nagpapailan na ng kaso sa DILG yung barangay dito. I mean, we're building up a case. So the idea is they're going to issue tickets to those who were in the alleged illegal terminal for illegal parking. And then they're going to check the franchise documents of all of these vehicles. That's why they were blocking them off like that. So you can see Bong is here, General Almedin is here. Uh, the LTFRB are here and of course the Special Operations, Task Force Special Operations from MMDA. So over here you can see the LTFRB have got their laptop and they're able to check the franchise papers to make sure they're legit. Uh, because what we've seen in the past is some vehicles will produce papers but they're not genuine. So they can actually run them through this laptop and verify if it's the real deal or not. So they just issued a ticket now for this one, uh, illegal parking and obstruction. Uh, but the franchise papers appear to check out, so he'll be able to go on his way. So across the post office building, you can see it over there. See how stinky this is? Yeah, obviously a lot of people have been peeing and pooping here. And you can see that since we're here, they're also dealing with those that aren't wearing helmets. You can see on this bike, the girl on the back has a helmet, but the guy in the middle doesn't. Plus there's a child on the front, and I've just spotted a little baby in between them. So there's four on this bike, uh, only one of them has a helmet on the back. They're just advising to transfer the children to another form of transport, and then for their dad to wear the helmet, since he's the rider of the motorcycle. Looks like they're pulling in another one for a no helmet on the back. Oh, it looks like they've already got a ticket. He's explaining that you can't just continue riding around with no helmet just because you got a ticket. Uh, so now the back rider has jumped off and he's going to find alternative means of transport. Looks like they've just pulled in another one over here. She's also got a ticket. So the back rider will go down and again she'll find another form of transport, maybe a jeepney. Another one they just pulled in. Uh, the back rider doesn't have a helmet and the front rider is using an unauthorized helmet. So you can make up the Pinood din namin ito kay Dennis Alcoresa bago kami nagpunta dito. So hindi ko lang alam kung pinood din sa inyo yung Dennis na pupunta kami dito. Hindi po, samasa po kami under ng sitio. Nandito po kami kasi kami yung nag-clearing dyan nung last week, yung natas yung DCFM. Ngayon tumawag yung boss ko si Colonel Tulliao. Mga dumi na naman daw doon, nag-clearing yung ano, ano ba yung ano. Kaya ito yung ano namin, yung PCP na may matapat kasi dito eh. Sino ba yung PCP dyan? Ang Tenteran. Oo ngayon, area niya to. Oo, area niya to. Kaya pinatakbo kami dito, i-assist kayo, baka kailangan nyo ng tulog. Kaya nga eh, so, hindi, salamat doon ha. Pero ang problema kasi pagdating namin dito, pare parang walang kaayusan dito eh. Ayaw, kausap ko yung team leader. <laughs> parang walang kaayusan dito kausap eh. Kausapan kanina yung team leader nyo, kaya sabi ko nga, nag-tearing daw sila, may pumuntang polis dito, hindi, hindi naman daw sila nakita kayo, nanasal sila nga. Oo, oh. so ang pinaka-concern po namin dito, dahil wala pa yung... PCP dito yung nasa ilalim, oh. i-assist kayo Sige. paano. Ang concern lang po natin ngayon, ito, tinanong ko na sa team leader nyo, basta oh. hindi kloro, pwede silang sumakay. Pwede, pwede. Ay nga Kaya, po. Hindi natin inaano, kasi may dinesignate din naman daw ang Manila, kung saan ang loading, unloading. Ngayon din, kasi wala ako ID. Oo, oh. eh, kanina doon, isa sa mga designated loading, unloading, eh, terminal na eh. Inside, yun, hindi naman ang turnaround natin dyan, mga 5 minutes go na tayo eh, di ba? So, ang gagawin natin, mag- Mag-coordinate tayo. Gagawin namin ito alas araw-araw. Apo, maganda yan. Uh, so kung makita nyo kami nandito, tulungan nyo na lang kami. Ay, ayun nga rin device. yung concern namin. Nga, napatakbo kami dito. Oh. Alaan namin, wala pa yung PCP dito na malapit. Dahil Ikaw andyan ba? kami doon namin. Pinatawag ko na nga eh. Kasi ah, parang... Pinalis si tao niya. Papun, tawagin nga ulit para sila magano dito na ano. Area nila ito eh. Ikaw sa Manila City Hall. Apo, sa Lotto. Okay. Sige. Pero ganito, anong first name mo? Bong, ang gawin natin, magtulungan tayo dito para ma-maintain na natin na hindi tayo pin... Na, yung parking lot, pag dumaan ka, pare, ang panghi eh. Ayun nga, yun ano na nga sa DCF yung nga po yan. Kaya na, ano namin ng last week yun yata. So, last week lang na, ano to eh. Gato gawin natin ha. We're casing, uh, we're building up, building up a case. Matagal na namin ilinis to. 
ito pang apat, pang limang balik na namin dito. Pero ganun pa rin. Mas malala pa. Nung una namin punta. Ngayon, kung wala pagbabago talaga, mapipilita kami talaga ang uh, i-filean na ng kaso sa DILG yung barangay dito. I mean, we're building up a case. Eh, baka matulungan nyo rin kami doon. Pag- Ito, parang, uh, sa tingin nyo maganda eh. Doon po tayo. Basta sa ayos natin kung sa dapat sumakay yung mga tao, makakat natin yung kompetensya ng legal sa illegal. Di ba? Meron na kaming hinuling isang bus dyan na ang biyahe niya e eh, Baclaran City Operations pero tatakbo siya ng Kabite. So, yun yung mga sinasabi ko na pag gagawin natin ito, susundin natin yung dapat natin na uh, ipagkupad dito, ma-eliminate natin yung illegal sa legal. So, mabibigyan natin ang pagkakataon na illegal. Tama po yan. Ito pa na mas maayos. Ano? Sige po, hintayin ko lang yung ano dito. Sige, okay lang. Okay okay lang. Pag ano tayo, uh, doon lang naman kami, iaayusin ko yung kolorum doon. Uh, kailangan nyo talagang mando ang mga tao dito. Protection na. Very yeah. ano ko na lang itong PCP dito para ano na ito, 24 hours o ano na ano. Sige, kopya. Okay. So, for the meantime, assist ko lang sila habang wala po yung nandito na ano. Kopya. Alright, salamat ha. Thank salamat sa inyo. So right now the LTFRP are looking for specific markings on this vehicle. I don't know if it's a chassis number or something else. Um, but they're just looking for it so they can verify. At the front is a improvised plate and on the side there is no body number. Normally you'll see the plate number printed on the side. So you can see here something has been grinded off. I'm not sure if it's a chassis number. So as you can see the bus has been impounded here uh, at the LTFRP. They escorted it all the way here to T-Mog and uh, I guess they're just going to take it inside now. That's the LTFRB car there and this is the bus from earlier. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It's been a very long day. We first arrived here at T-Mog at 5am and the time now, let me check, 7pm. So it's been a long day. Thanks for watching.